Shalom, Maki, first and foremost, we want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, the honor to our elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, and honest to you brothers who are out there teaching the word in sincerity and in truth. All right, this lesson is entitled, That Y'all Are Done, Be an Example. All right, I'm pretty sure y'all brothers who, who've been keeping up and watching the videos, you know what's done happened with this cat, man. And pretty much, he was a, he was a low life, man. He was a low life, he was a nigga. And we do lessons on this all the time, along as well as the other brothers across the uh, world, the earth, um, on how to live this truth, man. You know, Apostle Gabar made a statement in one of his videos. He said a lot of these guys, he was like, you see them teaching, and you see them uh, uh, doing all this on the highway, screaming, you the devil, you this, and all that. But when it come, when the pressure hit them, and, and it's time for them to apply it. He said, uh, he said the scriptures just go straight out the window. And that's what you saw right there, man. The guy, he, 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 he wanted to be in the world, man. He didn't want to live this thing. Because when you live this truth, you're going to be brought down to a lower state, man. You got to suffer. And he didn't want to do that. So he took advantage of brothers. He, he did a lot of things, man. And it ended up getting real bad, you know? Go ahead. So Rock 37 and 19. There is one that is wise and teaches many, and yet is unprofitable to himself. Right. So he was wise on the surface, you know? When you watch the videos, you don't see y'all done breaking the scriptures down wrong. You know? He's teaching the truth. When you see him, he cutting scoffers up and all that. But it said that he's wise and teaches many. Because a lot of newer brothers in the faith, they definitely be attached to the Atlanta camp, from what I've noticed. Mm -hmm. All the newer brothers that I talk to, they, they watch Atlanta camp tough. And uh, he was a favorite brother. You know, and, and he was supposedly in this truth for 15 years. But it said that type of man is unprofitable unto himself. You know why? Because he don't live it. He could tell you all day this and that and this and that and how to do this and how to do that and you this and you that. But when it comes time to apply it to him, the scriptures go straight out the window, man. It say the, the Lord is dealing with prudent men, okay? Not impulsive, I please my flesh all the time, men. You're not supposed to be in no club and spirit. That's just all you about. When a brother try to talk about the scriptures, you just want to talk about hoes. You know what I'm saying? Or you thinking about getting money, you know, or something like that. Like, we this is a spiritual thing. Now, when we get around each other, yeah, we talk about different things, but for the main, the main thing is, is being spiritual. All right. So you have to let this guy be an example, man. We tell you, hey, you can know scriptures all day, but if you're not really about this and you're not really living it, and you're just riding the wave, so to speak, because you like the comfort of having other people around you, then you're going to get weeded out, man. And it's going to be more after him. You know? Go ahead. So Rock 32 and 17. A sinful man would not be reproved, but find it an excuse according to his will. Yeah, and he also had this justify yourself demon on him, man. You can't go around in this truth. You done got rebuked by your whole camp or rebuked by a whole bunch of brothers, but meanwhile, in your head, you're justifying yourself, man. The scriptures say a simple man findeth an excuse according to his own will, man. So if you have that spirit on you, which a lot of guys do, you know, I ain't gonna sugarcoat it, a lot of guys have that spirit on them. Hell, even sometimes brothers who in the faith, they have to catch themselves in the, in the midst of that. You know, oh, man, what, what, what was I doing? Wait a minute. So, yeah, that spirit right there, that means you, you qualify as a sinful man if you over here trying to find an excuse for every wrong that you done did, man. Okay? That's a strong demon right there. Because even when you go back to examine yourself, the, 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 that justify yourself demon is like, well, you didn't do this wrong. Them brothers was really wrong about that. But, yeah, I, I can see where they saying you were late a little bit. I, I was late, you know, I, I was late that time. But I ain't late like they said I was. Like that demon in your head telling you that you ain't did nothing wrong. 
and that the brothers was really tripping. You know, I I, I give you that. I give you that. That demon right there, man. So let this guy be an example. You see Element, the, the former head of the Dallas camp, which really wasn't the head for a very long time, but he was coming off as if he was. For guys who know back then, but top. Look at Nazariah. Look at Yasha one. These guys can speak, man. Nazariah, he can speak. He can go. He can sound articulate. He he knows history. Hey, he, he know it, man. Like he know the history. Like if you ask him something about history, that dude can break it down, man. But he done remixed the whole entire doctrine. He was wicked, man. When it come to living the scriptures, what did you see? Freaking lined up beard, lined up head. And you start seeing these guys who got the lined up heads and lined up beards and who who proud and, and think they the think they the stuff, they falling out, man. <coughs> They're falling out. Sirach 32 and um, 18. A man of counsel will be considerate, but a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear. Exactly. A strange and proud proud man, he just, he just gonna go do it, man. He don't care. He gonna come run to the brothers afterwards after he done messed up. So, so brothers can, in hopes that brothers clean up his mess, man. Uh, even one of himself, he have done without counsel. Mm -hmm. So yeah, a man of counsel, a man of counsel, matter of fact, a man of counsel is a brother who's going to always be uh, uh, conversing with his fellow brethren anyway. Yeah, I was thinking about this brother, what you think? You know what I'm saying? Some stuff you're going to do. But like if you're about to make a move or, or it's something dealing with the camp or that's going to affect brothers, you gonna be a man of counsel. You gonna see you see what's up, but now nah, this this guy y'all done, man. It's a, it's, I looked up the word strange, mm. but when it says a strange and proud man, all right, uh, just regular dictionary, uh, dictionary.com, I guess. It says these are some of the synonyms. Uh, uh, puzzling, mysterious. That's, that's it right there, puzzling, mysterious. So a, a stranger, a, a man that's strange, he's mysterious to the other brothers. Mm -hmm. They don't really know your whereabouts. He said he was going to be here doing a live video, but next thing you know, he with Keisha, she twerking. You a strange man. Like, every brother, every, every, all the other brothers, they well knit together. They all in to know about what's going on. You did off Jake in the camp, man. Mm -hmm. And, and you, you have a sense of entitlement because you're in a position of leadership, man. You know? <laughs> You're that guy when brothers ask about you, oh, I don't know what he doing. You talk to you? you talk right. to you? I don't know Ooh. what's going on with that brother. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you don't want to be that guy. Like, I don't really know what's going on with that brother. It's a, a, it's, it's a little more. It says, oh, kooky, offbeat. Uh, offbeat. You know? Are you, you break it down, brother? Hey, well, you, you offbeat, man. You out of tune with the spirit of the other brothers in your camp. Cause all the other brothers, they in the, in the zone, and you that off brother that's thinking carnal thoughts. This bro, an example of you being off beat, the brother said that he was talking, every time he talked to you about the spirit, you start talking about hoes. That's <laughs> off beat, man. So you, and off beat is synonymous with the word strange. So you a strange, off beat, mysterious um, uh, man. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we say let that be an example, because if you find yourself in that position, then you need to stray away from that and get back on the right track, man. Because uh -huh. yeah, you, you run it, because actually that's something that's that's often. You you often run into somebody like that, man. If you if you meet enough brothers throughout the years and time, you, you'll run into that. Like, wait a minute, like everybody else here, everybody down, everybody like, let's do this. Hey, brother, hey, man, get out of there. Let's do a live show. Hey, you, you got guys like that, but then... You have somebody else who, oh, I ain't gonna make it. Then brothers decide to go out. He the one at the, <laughs> at the bar, at the club. Like, what do you mean? I thought you said you were gonna be busy. He's off beat. He's the guy who don't show up, fellowship. 
he's the guy who, who uh, he don't really do anything. He was the, I actually saw, seen it because brothers always talk about it. That Jake, he stops by just to see who got the wine. He stops by just to see who got the chicken. He gets the chicken and he eats the chicken and he leaves. Yep. Oh, Shalom, Shalom. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He pull up the wine. He yeah. grab the bottle, pull up the wine. He don't bring none. Then he just sits there. After a while, he's texting. He's not even really talking to folks. He's over there looking at hoes in his phone. <laughs> then after that, you know, all right, bro, Shalom, you look at the clock, man. It's been 30 minutes. <laughs> bro, man, from the fifth flow spirit. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. He just, you know, making sandwiches, you know. He used the brotherhood for a pit stop. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You know, he, he running the streets all night. He stopped by the brother house just to get something to eat, get something to drink, and leave. All right, that's a, that's a lesson in itself. The brotherhood is not your pit stop, man. Uh. All right, this is not something that you should take lightly. This is a gift given to you from the Heavenly Father, man. You can't get this in the world, man. You can only get this here. You can't get it at IUIC, you can't get it at ISUBK, you can't get it none of them places, but you can get it here, man. You can get it here. And this is what Jake do. But then you wonder, like a guy like y'all done, and other men who, who, who like-minded, at the end of the day, they be wondering why a group of uh, uh, guys be wanting to whoop their ass, man. Look at what you're doing. You messing the whole song up. Like you off beat, man. Matter of fact, the scriptures tell you uh, uh, interrupt, not a musician. Like so, when he making music, don't don't run in there and mess his vibe up, man. Cause he was in the zone. So yeah, and it is not this truth the song, man. We over here singing this song, and uh, uh, then you have a guy coming here rapping like Future. You know, Molly Perkins says, like man. What the hell you doing here, man? Get this nigga out of here, bro. Yeah, this guy messing the song up, man. Eventually, you're going to get mad at a guy like that, man. And that's what ended up happening, man. So, brothers, hey, stay stay solid, man. Live this truth. If you can't live this truth, you ain't got no business being in it, man. It's no point of faking it. Faking the funk, they don't give you nothing. Go out, rob a bank, fuck some hoes, do what you do, man. Because you, you just... You just don't borrow time if you ain't really living this thing. Like I say, and guys are still lining their head up. You got them edges in your in your uh, bathroom. You still shaving your beard and you and you and you and you claiming the job, making you do it. All this different stuff. Take heed, man. All these guys who have been doing that have fell out the truth so far. They're, they're, Oh, and don't be ignoring these guys now. When you see, I don't care how much you love them, man. If men in your camp with a bald head, check that man. My brother didn't shave his whole beard off. Like, hey, what what happened? What's up with that? Don't just be like, well, he probably justifiable. My job, my yeah. job. Don't be ignoring what you see, man. This ain't the world. In the world, we did that. Or somebody doing some dumb shit. Like, that nigga, that nigga threw it. That nigga. Nah, that's your brother. Check him, man. That's love. No, no, that's lo that's love. It ain't the Esau love where every single day we see each other. It is, hey brother, hey, how are you been? I'm good, brother. How you doing? I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Like nah, real brotherly love is, hey brother, what was up with that though? Mm -hmm. You know, you ain't gotta be aggressive. It's like, hey brother, you kind of, you know. Hey, what, what happened, man? Hey, what happened? <laughs> yeah, you know how Jake do. What happened, man? Yeah. <laughs> you look at what happened. That My job, bro. The reason why Jake is so messed up and the reason why Keisha's so messed up, because they grew up unchecked. Mm -hmm. And then they grew up in a world of nigga culture where all the things that's against the scriptures is glorified. So being proud is good. Being a whore that's narcissistic is good. So now she come across the camp and she hearing us reprove, she can't take it. Now he talk, we, he hearing us talk about things in the spirit, about the laws of the Most High way and what the Most High doesn't like. He, uh, Jafonte can't take it, cause he grew up his whole life being mm -hmm. unchecked, man. So yeah, you gotta you gotta check each other, man. Bros gotta check each other, man. That's love. Mm -hmm. And you can't have no ego. You gotta pray to the Most High, get an ego out your spirit when you get checked. When it's your turn to get checked, you ain't special, cause you in a leadership position. Y'all are done, brothers. They men of the Lord too. 
Yep. Now where your leadership position at? Yep. It's gone, man. You ain't got one. You know? And you ain't got the truth either. And you got demons in your corner, man. Who probably gonna eventually take you out, man. So yeah, like I say, let that be an example, brethren. Like I say, all them guys with lined up faces who've been proud to and thinking they the shit and, and, and shaving beards, claiming jobs, all this stuff. Yeah, they they was cool. They were cool dudes to talk to. Where they at now though? So yeah, if you still got that excuse, I'm doing it because of this. I'm that because of this. I'm already bald, so I just shave it, you know, and, and or oh, it's my woman, it's the family, all those excuses and different stuff, and you'd rather be more concerned with the world than you are with the with the brothers in this truth and ultimately with the faith of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you're going to get taken out, man. You got one more? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, uh, Luke 14, I believe it's Luke 14, 26. Um, yeah. Luke 14, 26. Any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, in his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Hey, this is this is one thing that Element told me a long time ago. <laughs> Cause he knew scriptures too before he fell out. But like the scripture earlier, there'd be one that's wise and teaching many, but but yet is unprofitable unto himself. Now he said you have to get he said Jake, one thing Jake gotta get is some fuck it juice. Mm -hmm. He was like, you got to get a fucking spirit when you in this truth, you know, which was something he didn't have, you know, but it was true though. You have to get a, a I don't care spirit, man. Like, I don't care about this worldly stuff. Yeah, baby, you fine. I'm still going out to teach though. Oh yeah, you crying, baby, but I'm still finna lead your fellowship. I'm still finna do what I do. If you love me, you'll still be here, right? About, about to go though, I'm late. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's your spirit. Uh, the children gonna be all right. All right. You going straight off faith, man. This is priority. You know, not not the world, man. Over there just wanna drink all the time and, 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 and party and- Please your flesh. Please your flesh, man. Where has that gotten Jake, man? Where is pleasing the flesh God and Jake, man. In captivity. Hell yeah. In captivity. We in America because Jake just wanted to please the flesh, man. Then you think Jake is like 60, 50 now, that was in their 20s and 30s and the 80s? They, you think you would have learned from them? Like, they didn't get anywhere. Your dad was here. He had the Jerry Carroll in the gold, too. He was trying to get with old girl back in the 80s. But guess what? They got him. They got him nowhere, man. You got the average every other Jake. Got that story with how he had three, four cars in the early 90s. You know, he did this, then the third. Where has that got him 20 years later, man? Mm -hmm. This is gonna get us in the kingdom. Yeah. He's in debt. He's in debt. In pain, he's sick. He has nothing profitable, man. His kids don't really mess with him like that. So yeah, we supposed to be dealing in the spirit, man. We're priests, all right? We making up the priesthood, man. And this is the kingdom of heaven. So we should act as such, okay? Lord Will, you, you had anything else, Adam? Lord Will, well, you had anything else? Cause I, Lord Will, you brought us with Edified. Once again, our praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, and uh, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Barakatum, Shalom, Marcus. Shalom.